Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 48. Mary responded, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord, how my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he took notice of his lowly servant girl, and from now on all generations will call me blessed. It would have probably taken Mary about four days to travel down south to meet up with her elderly relative, Elizabeth. During that arduous journey, she had plenty of time to reflect on the incredible things that were happening in her life. It may well be that she spent time reflecting on the song of Hannah in the Old Testament, and so it's not surprising that Mary's song has so much in common with Hannah's words. They beautifully express her faith and confidence in God. Above all, Mary's song is an outburst of humility. She is amazed that God should have noticed her. She was only a lowly servant girl and wasn't expecting to be given a big role in life or to achieve fame. But God had other plans for her. She was being called to fulfil one of the most awesome roles in the whole of history. Our situation is obviously very different from Mary's, but for all of us, it's a moment of sheer amazement when we come to realise that God loves us and that we are special to him. I remember the way in which I struggled to believe that when I was a teenager. When I learned about the enormity of the universe, it seemed incredible to me that I could be known and loved by God. I thought he must have far more important things on his mind. But no, the Bible is consistently clear that you and I are infinitely precious. Jesus pointed this out clearly too. He reminded us that God even knows the hairs on our head. They're all numbered. Our God even cares for the birds that are of little monetary value, and yet not one of them falls to the ground without God knowing all about it. I wonder how you see yourself. Perhaps like Mary, you don't think of yourself as being very important at all. You assume that no one really notices you. Well, be sure of this. God does notice you, and he loves you. I suggest that we should take a leaf out of Mary's book and begin this day by praising God that, incredibly, he's taken notice of us and has great plans for us. Now let me ask you a question. How do you respond to the fact that you are so important to God? And now let me pray with you. Loving God, we are amazed by your love for us. Help us to live close to you throughout this day. Amen. Thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And don't forget that the talks are also available on podcast, which you can access at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.